Hi, welcome to Term Science. Today's topic is about effect of pressure ratio on efficiency of blood and cycle. In this lecture, we will discuss what is meant by pressure ratio on blood and cycle, the effect of pressure ratio on efficiency of blood and cycle, and the effect of pressure ratio on heat addition and net work output on blood and cycle. First, we will discuss pressure ratio. Gas turbine consists of four major processes that are process 1 to 2 isentropic compression process, 2 to 3 constant pressure heat addition, 3 to 4 isentropic expansion process and 4 to 1 constant pressure heat rejection process. During isentropic compression and isentropic expansion there is change in pressure so that the pressure ratio in compressor it is a ratio between maximum pressure to the minimum pressure that is Rp is equal to P2 divided by P1. Similarly, in expansion process, it is a ratio between maximum pressure to the minimum pressure during expansion process. That is P3 divided by P4. We know that P2 is equal to P3 and P1 is equal to P4. That is P2 divided by P1 is equal to P3 divided by P4. From isentropic relation during compression process, T2 divided by T1 is equal to P2 divided by P1 whole power gamma minus 1 divided by gamma. Similarly, isentropic expansion process, the isentropic relation is T3 divided by T4 is equal to P3 divided by P4 whole power gamma minus 1 divided by gamma. We know that P2 divided by P1 is equal to P3 divided by P4. So, all become equal. T2 divided by T1 is equal to P2 divided by P1 whole power gamma minus 1 divided by gamma is equal to T3 divided by T4 is equal to P3 divided by P4 whole power gamma minus 1 divided by gamma. This equation will be helpful to find out maximum pressure ratio. Next we will discuss the effect of pressure ratio on blood and cycle. We know that the efficiency expression of blood and cycle is 1 minus 1 divided by Rp whole power gamma minus 1 divided by gamma. From this we can say that the efficiency of blood and cycle is depends only two variables that is pressure ratio and gas index. Let's take gas index as constant that is gamma is equal to 1.4. When pressure ratio is 6 the efficiency becomes 40.12 percentage. When you increase pressure ratio from 6 to 8 that is Rp is equal to 8 then efficiency becomes 44.84 percentage. From this we can conclude that when we increase the pressure ratio of blood and cycle, the efficiency of blood and cycle increases and vice versa. How is it happening? Where the pressure ratio plays major role? Let's have an example. Here we have a table. In this table, we have taken heat supplied as constant. Changing the pressure ratio, let's see the effect of other parameters. Inlet temperature of compressor is always constant in the ambient conditions. Let's take 300 Kelvin and pressure ratio as 6. To increase pressure ratio from 1 bar to 6 bar, the compressor required work of 200 kJ per kg of air. When you take the heat addition as constant 250 kJ per kg, the turbine output becomes 300 kJ per kg and the efficiency becomes 40 percentage. Now let's increase pressure ratio from 6 to 8. The work required to the compressor is 243 kilojoule per kg. So increasing extra 2 bar pressure, you are getting 243 kilojoule per kg. Also keeping the heat addition as constant, 250 kilojoule per kg, the turbine output becomes 358 kilojoule per kg, which means it increased 58 kilojoule per kg of air. The efficiency becomes 45 percentage. From this we can conclude that if you increase the pressure ratio by keeping heat addition as constant, it will increase net work done output. So that the efficiency of balance cycle it increases. Let's take the other example. In this table, we are going to keep turbine output as constant and we are going to vary the pressure ratio. Let's check where it will affect. For 300 Kelvin, pressure ratio 6. Compressor required work of 200 kJ per kg of air and heat supplied 250. So to increase 
to get 300 kilojoule of work output we have to give 250 kilojoule per kg of air we have to eat addition and the efficiency becomes 40 percentage when you increase pressure ratio from 6 to 8 the compressor required 245 kilojoule per kg of work to produce 300 kilojoule output we have to supply only 116 kilojoule per kg of heat addition you can see previously we have 250 here we have only 116 and efficiency becomes 46.6 percentage which means when you keep turbine output at constant when you increase pressure ratio it will affect on your heat addition it will reduce heat addition from 250 to 116 this is what pressure ratio plays major role on heat addition and turbine work output next we will discuss the effect of gas index on efficiency of balance cycle we know that the efficiency expression of balance cycle is 1 minus 1 divided by rp whole power gamma minus 1 divided by gamma we know that the efficiency is mainly depends on two variable pressure ratio and gas index let's take pressure ratio is constant that is 8 when your gas index is 1.4 efficiency becomes 40 percentage similarly when gas index is 1.66 then efficiency becomes 56.3 percentage from this we can conclude that increasing the gas index increases efficiency of balance cycle but for air the gas index becomes only 1.4 if we use some special gases instead of air then the gas index may increase or reduce if you like this video like share and subscribe thank you